today, we will discuss time, a limited precious resource. They say that time is gold. What does it mean? Can you literally convert time to gold or money? Of course not. But with time, you can produce wealth or do valuable things that you can use to improve yourself. Wasting time, therefore, will deprive you of your opportunity to utilize that time to do productive activities like planning for your future, setting goals, accomplishing a task, performing an obligation, and other far more important things than wasting time. So let's give value to that another 86,400 seconds God gives us each day. Also keep in mind that the time wasted is forever lost. That is why time is a valuable resource and should be used strategically in your favor to be better every day. Welcome to Better Every Day, your source of information on matters of self-improvement, health, motivation, and self-help. Hello and nice to see you again. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you can be updated of the latest videos which might be of help to your self-improvement. So let's begin. Plan your day or week ahead. You might want to visit a grocery store, have your vacuum cleaner repaired, buy some new books to read, or visit a friend to borrow his unused kettlebell. These chores may be consolidated into one single trip or be broken down to different days depending on your work schedule, availability, or route. If you plan ahead, you can save time by scheduling the places you will visit for a day in a manner that you will avoid the traffic, get the faster or shorter distance to your destination, and reminds you of your priorities. At the same time, organized itinerary will save you time and money. Identify the time wasters. This one is somewhat a reflection process. When you work or do a task, try to measure the time you consumed and evaluate whether there are things that slow you down. These are called the time wasters. It could be the manner you are doing a task or it could be some distractions along the way. In cleaning the house, consider gravity. You might want to start sweeping the upper floor down to the stairs and to the ground floor but the other way around. Have a systematic way of doing it like making a pattern to avoid duplicity. Regarding distractions, we all know this. The social media, the TV, the repetitive texts of your friend, and so much more. Getting connected to these distractions while you are trying to complete a task is not a good idea. Distractions will eat up your time, destroy your momentum, as well as your train of thought. While dealing with work or some tasks, Keep these distractions away for a while. Focus on a single thing at a time. Do not multitask. Some people would boast that they multitask to accomplish multiple activities in one sitting. But is multitasking really that beneficial? The problem in multitasking is that attention of your brain shifts rapidly from one task to another diminishing focus to both. Your possibility of commuting errors and repeating the job is high. Hence, the quality of work for both activities diminishes as well as the speed in accomplishing it. According to behavioral psychologist Susan Winschenk, 40% of your productivity is being lost due to multitasking. Rather, focus on a single thing at a time and deal with it until it is finished. In this way, your concentration is better and you can finish it in no time. You can also immediately identify your errors and correct it right away. Organize your stuff. 
situations like spending an hour looking for your favorite shirt, a USB drive, a matching watch, a bling, a pair of glasses, or another similar thing happens to all of us. It tends to eat up our time, making us late to our class, meeting, or social gathering. Such situation may be avoided or at least mitigated by having things organized. Think about the thousands of books in a library. Loss is prevented and search for one single book is a breeze. Do not literalize how librarians do it. Just make a system in your room or house to make it easy for you to find anything you will be needing on a regular basis or occasionally. Avoid leaving a task hanging. As much as possible, complete a certain task when you already started working on it. To illustrate, if you are about to finish an assignment three days ahead of its submission, do not leave it unfinished. This is tantamount to procrastination. First, leaving it in limbo will expose you to the risk of forgetting it completely and in the same vein, completely throwing away your effort and time to the trash can. Second, finishing it ahead of time will give you extra time to polish your work and review things for improvement. Third, Revisiting it when you only have limited time will force you to haste and produce mediocre results. You will also forget some ideas you want to integrate when you leave the task unfinished. Keep yourself occupied even on spare times. Whenever you ride a public transport, waiting for a class to start, Queuing on a long line to a grocery store observing social distancing, or just finish the house duties ahead of time you expect, you have a window of time that you can consume for useful things. These are downtimes when you can utilize to your advantage. You can plan your activities for the next day, clear up your photo gallery of redundant and unnecessary files or photos, Memorize a poem or lesson, or even draw or paint something. This will enable you to be productive even in unexpected moments. Neglecting these extra time equates to wasting it, so be mindful of that. Learn to say no. There are times when you are being invited to some social gatherings that you do not want to attend or to watch a movie you do not like, or to go someplace you are not interested in. If you really are not into it, say no. It will only be a waste of time for you. You can do other things that will make your day. Why spend time to something useless? There will be another time for social bonding with friends, but not in a situation that will not make you happy. Use the time to a more meaningful activity that will give you satisfaction, fulfillment, or enjoyment. Be smart and honest enough and say no. There you go guys! Remember these tips to maximize your time and avoid wasting it. Try to be conscious of the time and make it a habit to utilize it to your own advantage. It will put you ahead of the majority and give you an edge. If you like this video, please like and share so others will also know and be part of this community and be better every day.